to make a deal like that. You talked to Putin last week. You had a busy week last week. A busy week, yeah. Busy week and a half. Do you respect Putin? I do respect him. Do you? But well, Why? Well, I respect a lot of people, but that doesn't mean I'm going to get along with him. He's a leader of his country. Uh, I say it's better to get along with Russia than not all over the world. Right. Major fight. That's a good thing. Will I get along with him? I have no idea. It's He's a killer, I though. Won't. Putin's a killer. A lot of killers. We got a lot of killers. Why, you think our country's so innocent? You think our country's so innocent? I don't know of any government leaders that are killers. In the well, take a look at what we've done, too. We've made a lot of mistakes. I've been against the war in Iraq from the beginning. Yeah, mistakes are different then. A lot of mistakes, okay, but a lot of people were killed. So, a lot of right. killers around, believe me. The U.S. sends largest ammo shipment in 20 years to Germany amid ongoing European military buildup. The U.S. military sent more than 600 containers full of ammunition to Europe, the largest single shipment in more than 20 years. The move comes just before the Pentagon announced the deployment of tank brigade of 6,000 personnel to Eastern Europe in 2017. Some 620 containers full of ammunition arrived at the northern German port of Nordenham. Those containers were loaded onto trains and transported to the army depot for storage and distribution to other locations across Europe. The US Army said that, I quote, This is about deterrence. We could have 1,000 tanks over there, but if we didn't have the ammunition for those tanks, they would not have any deterrent effect. Earlier this year, the US Army deployed 6,000 troops along with tanks, infantry vehicles, heavy howitzers and combat helicopters to step up its presence in Eastern Europe, where a massive NATO buildup is ready to counter an aggressive Russia. The 3rd Armored Brigade Combat Team of the Colorado-based 4th Infantry Division deployed 4,000 soldiers in the region in January 2017. In addition to that, the US Army will send to Eastern Europe more than half of the New York-based 10th Combat Aviation Brigade comprising of 1,750 airmen along with 60 aircraft including CH Chinooks, UH-60 Black Hawks and Medivac helicopters. Both units will be a part of an operation called Atlantic Resolve. The US led buildup on Russia's border, whose stated goal is to reassure America's Eastern European allies' safety, who claims to perceive a direct threat from Russia. Other brigade elements will spread across the region. Army Lieutenant Colonel Jason Brown, a 4th Infantry Division spokesman, said that one battalion with M1 Abrams tanks will be stationed in Estonia, Lithuania and Latvia, while other battalion will operate in Germany. Also, M2 Bradley infantry fighting vehicles and M1 Abrams tanks will move to Romania and Bulgaria. Tensions are rising near Russia's border with Europe, since it has become evident that NATO is determined to counter so-called Russian aggression. We have unprecedented NATO military buildup in the regions of NATO member countries which are close to Russia's border with Europe. Moscow has started developing a force to counterbalance NATO's massive military buildup near the European border with Russia. The force will operate across Russia's western and southern borders. Russia is getting serious with NATO's military buildup when it emphasized that Russia will be ready to protect its interests when it comes down to any conflict. Russian officials threatened NATO, saying that nuclear war is at risk if NATO tries to fight Russia or to engage Russia into any military confrontation. Russia said that instead NATO should focus on other global threats. Moscow has declared that it will be ready to protect the nation's interest in light of NATO's expansion efforts. The NATO buildup has put Russia on red alert. Following the premise, 
NATO declared that Russia is an aggressor and a direct threat. Lavrov said that, I quote, I want to stress that Russia will always be ready to defend its interests and ensure the security of its citizens. We have 4,000 troops from NATO who were deployed near the Russian border. Along with the US troops, 1,600 tanks and military vehicles which were deployed to Netherlands. That would add another 6,400 combat troops. If you are keeping score of the military movement in Europe, then you know that we have around 34,400 combat troops who have been positioned into European countries close to the Russia's border. It's not a secret any longer that these countries are being prepared to fight against Russia. On top of that, NATO and USA has deployed a group of warships to the Black Sea. Although submarine maneuvers are kept secret, one has to assume that they are being positioned as well to attack Russia. There is much more to this story than meets the eye. In addition to deploying troops to the Russian border, the goal is to provoke Putin into reacting. Obama was effectively removing combat troops from the United States, who would be choosing up sides in the upcoming civil conflict. Among the many reasons that I believe the purpose of this movement was to secure the use of combat troops in the upcoming civil war inside the US. Obama was dispatching the US troops so they cannot be used domestically. I wonder what force Trump will use for his military agenda in the upcoming conflict. Most likely he will use the foreign assets. Do you remember the executive order which allows the President of the United States to use foreign military personnel on the US soil? Germany began tank deployment to Lithuania as part of NATO commitment. Germany started the deployment of tanks to Lithuania as part of the NATO mission to boost confidence in the Eastern European allies in the face of what they see as the Russian aggression. Germany is one of the countries who agreed to provide troops and weapons for the NATO mission, which involves deploying four battalions to Poland and three battalions to Baltic states. The German command said that it was sending about 200 military vehicles, including torque tanks, along with 450 troops. In early January, US tanks and troops started arriving via Germany to Poland as part of the same mission. The military buildup is the largest since the end of WW2. This military movement alone could put into question the NATO-Russia agreement permanently banning the deployment of significant forces by the alliance in Eastern Europe. NATO reject such statements saying that the agreement did not specify how big a force should be to be considered significant. On top of that, NATO insists that the deployment is rational rather than permanent. Moscow has denied any aggressive intentions toward NATO members. Moscow said that the bloc is using a pretext to compromise Russia's national security. The Russian armed forces have boosted their strength near the western border in response to NATO buildup. The US has started moving tanks to a storage facility in the Netherlands in a bid to the Russia, amid the biggest NATO buildup in Europe since the end of WW2. A total of 1600 vehicles are due to be stored at the six warehouse complexes in the village of Eigelschauen, near the Belgian and German borders. The facility was originally opened in 1985 during the Cold War when it was used by US troops to practice drills in a case of a possible Soviet attack. Abrams tanks, Bradley fighting vehicles and Paladin artillery have already started arriving in what is a part of a 3.4 billion US dollars 
Congress approved scheme to increase NATO military capability in Europe. Military storage sites are also to be reopened in Poland, Belgium and Germany. Guys, I have only one question for you. What is the real agenda behind all this military movement in Europe? Britain will deploy batteries of high-precision long-range missiles on the Russian border for the first time since the Cold War. The long-range rockets are said to be moved to Estonia amid fears that President Vladimir Putin could be planning to invade UK. Around 800 troops will be deployed to Estonia as part of a 15-nation force. NATO is planning its largest military buildup in Europe since the end of Cold War. NATO has started a military buildup in Europe aimed at protecting Europe from Russian aggression. The European Union and NATO will conduct coordinated drills of responses to hybrid threats. NATO is reinforcing its military presence in Europe, in particular in the Baltic states and Poland. The Estonian government decided to spend 60 million euro or 66 million US dollars on the construction of the military barracks for NATO and US troops. The Estonian government will also build hangars for storing military hardware and will build training grounds. I will cover this story in greater detail in my new video. The rapid response troops will include six logistics bases which NATO is setting up in the Baltic states, Poland, Romania and Bulgaria, which will be designed to house military equipment and ammunition. Furthermore, the US has announced the deployment of an additional tank brigade of 4,200 soldiers and 250 tanks to Europe. As you see in this video, the US and NATO are pushing for the biggest military buildup on Russia's border with Europe. On the other side, Russia is pushing on with the biggest troops and naval deployment since the end of WW2. NATO defense ministers are focusing on a ground expansion to make good promise by NATO leaders sending forces to the Baltic states and Poland. As a result, NATO will press its members' allies to contribute more resources to NATO's biggest military buildup on Russia's borders, as the NATO alliance is preparing for a very serious confrontation against Moscow. Let's connect the dots. Do you remember when Germany unveiled the National Crisis Plan? Do you remember that information when there was something like 40 million Russians preparing for national disaster? Do you remember the information when German, Czech Republic and Finnish government officials told to its citizens to stock up on food, water and other essential supplies in the event of a national disaster? We are in the last weeks before the real shit will hit the fan. I did not upload a new video for some time now. I was waiting all this time and my new 6 to 8 videos, it will be very interesting, I can promise that. Visit Breaking News TV YouTube channel for my new video uploads in the coming weeks. No, that much detail on it at the moment, but it's potentially serious. We're hearing a major explosion has occurred at the Flamanville nuclear power plant in northwest France. Apparently it happened in an engine room at 10 a.m. local time there. Reports say several people working there have been injured. We're going to keep monitoring the situation there. 